Hello everybody, in today's video we are going to take a look at how to set up Google Drive uh, on your iPad. Now I know I've covered how to set up Google Drive previously, but that was talking about setting it up on a computer. Today we're focusing on the iPad. Now obviously, uh, first of all, you need to actually download the app from the App Store. So, we'll go to the App Store. What we need to do is we need to do a search in the search box, uh, Google Drive. And you'll see the, the App Store is predicting there's Google Drive. I'll touch that one. Now, this one here, that's this is the icon for Google Drive on the iPad. So this is the one that you want. Now, if you've already downloaded it, uh, but it's not on the iPad, you'll see this symbol just here. It looks like a little cloud with an arrow pointing down. That means you've already got it, it's just not on the device. Uh, if you haven't previously downloaded it, it will say, uh, I believe it says get, uh, or might even just say download. So you'll need to do that. So let's touch that and download that app. Now this will obviously take a little bit of time, so I will fast forward through this next little bit while it downloads and installs. There we go, you can see it's finished downloading and now it gives me the option to open it. What I want to do before I do that is show you where it locates the icon for that app on your home screen. So let's press the home button. Now by default, for some reason, any applications that you download on the iPad or on the iPhone for that matter, automatically go to a new page. I don't want it on this page, all of my apps are here. So I want to bring it to this page, so I need to do that. So I tap and hold you'll notice that it has a little X here and it has a bit of a shake, a bit of a wobble. That means that I can move it. If I tap and hold again, drag it over here to the left. Oh, try that again. There we go, there's my new page, there's all of my apps. Now, I like things a little bit organized. You can see here there's a folder called Google. All of the Google apps that I've got are in there, so I will drop it in there. It's still shaking, but I'm done now, so I press the home button, all sorted. Okay, so let's open this up. So the Google icon just here. So let's open up Google Drive to start with. So it gives you this bit of a uh, tour to start with. What I'm looking for now is this little button down here. It's a bit faint to make out on the video, on the document camera, but it says done. We want to touch that, and it pops up with uh, an option of adding a account to the Google Drive. Now, if you already have an email account, a Gmail account attached to your device, it will automatically pop up with that. My personal one's here, but I don't want to attach that one. I want to attach my education account. So what I need to do is click touch, add account, and it asks me to sign in. Now, this is your Department of Education username at education.nsw.gov.au. So we need to put that in. And then obviously your password is just the password that you normally use to log in to your Department of Education email account. So for example, if your normal email account is john.smith at det, etc., and then your password is 1234, here you would put john.smith at education.nsw.gov.au, and then for the password, you would just put 1234. So that password is your regular email password for the Department of Education. When you've got that, touch sign in, and it will then bring you to this screen here, and you can see this is the normal New South Wales Department of Education logon screen. This is the exact same details that you would normally put to log into your Department of Education portal. It's processing the request. There we go. Now, it pops up by default with a um, bit, bit of a tutorial here. You can walk through this. gives you options of how you want to back it up. Be very careful. If you have a device that does have mobile data attached to it, um, be very aware that if you set this to back up your device using that mobile data, that you may very well use all of your data cap um, just with backups and syncing. Now, this is what Google Drive looks like by default. This is in tile view. Up here is an icon that you're probably quite familiar with if you use Google Drive on the desktop computer. If I touch that one, it puts it into list view. That's personally what I prefer. So we've got access to Google Drive now. This is my drive, and I know that because it says my drive up here in the top left-hand corner. These are all the folders that I've got set up. Loose files that I don't have inside folders are at the bottom. If I want to add a new document, a new file, the plus button 
or the plus icon down here in the bottom right hand corner touch that and it gives me the option so I can add a new folder I can upload something uh, I can use the camera to take a photo or a video and automatically upload that I can open a new Google Doc a new Google Sheets or a new Google Slides they're the main options there not quite as broad as what you have on the desktop you don't have access to Google Draw or some of the other uh, add-ons um, but still quite useful for the classroom now to change this to the things that have been shared to you this icon up here in the top left hand corner the four bars if we touch that it opens up this menu now a few of these things are quite familiar because you'll have seen them in the desktop version uh, at the top obviously is my drive the next one is shared with me and then we've got recent starred things that you've made available offline settings and storage at the bottom so we want to go things that have been shared with me we want to touch this one here and again straight away it takes us in and we get the view of the file name and then who shared it to us and the date that it was shared to us so let's go back to my drive now you'll notice down the right hand side here there is a series of three dots for each folder and file if you touch those three dots you get some options they're your basic options, fairly useful, but just be aware that's how you get access to those. If you want to move a file, for example, if I want to move this file here into this folder here, all I do is touch and hold, tap and hold rather, and then drag it. And you can see that it's highlighted and it will let me move it in there. And you can see that because I've touched and hold that, I've still got the option down here. That gives me a few other options to do pretty much the same as touching these dots over here. The other thing, if you need to change account, if this is a class iPad that's being shared amongst the students, and for example, John Smith has been using it today and Bob needs to use it tomorrow, you can't really sign out. I've not found a way that actually signs you out properly without deleting the app and reinstalling it. What you need to do in that case where you need to share the iPad between the students, come to this screen here, at the top of it is the name of the student and the email address of the student that is currently logged in to Google Drive. If you touch the name, you'll get an extra menu and it will show you all of the different names and email addresses that are available. You can either touch an email address to switch to that account or you can touch manage accounts and there you have the option to add an account to add a new one to add a new student or if you hit manage you get the option to remove now that also removes the files any files that are stored on that iPad from the iPad so you need to be aware of that that's the only way that I've been able to find that actually lets you sign out that's all we've got time for in this video stay tuned in the next one we'll be taking a look at Google Classroom for the iPad thanks very much